right, it's AG TV. Alongside right. me is E Measy on the track. What's up, bro? What up, big bro? <laughs> All right. So the other day we was, we was in the uh, in the Treyway hearing court hearing. Uh, real quick, well, what, what was your thoughts on it? Oof, man, I thought it was telling, man. I thought that new people came into the mix. Right. Um, some people came out of the mix. As we know, 6 9 wasn't there. His lawyer wasn't there. Uh, we saw a defendant literally come in and step out. Right. So a little bit of strange things were going on. We saw new lawyers in down. Uh, we saw people in the audience like Kuda B who was in down taking notes. So it was definitely a strange court hearing. Right. Um, I do want to state that that along with Kuda B, Kuda B is, is, is being charged with the obviously uh, with the Chief Keep shooting at Times Square. Um, now the prosecutor at that court hearing, the prosecutor also charged Shadi with that shooting. Um, right. I remember when the prosecutor stood up and told the judge that, Shadi looked at the prosecutor and just shook his head and they started just, they just both grilled each other. And I, and I thought that was, I was like, gee, like, can you even charge Shadi with more shit? Like, you, you would think, like, you know, it's just he like. He has a level head, though. No matter what he's being charged with, he has a very level head. I mean, yeah. He's I mean, they're both. letting it show. Right. You know? I think it's, I think it's like what you said in one of your videos. I think it's, uh, they probably accepted it. And they know that shit. They're pretty smart people. I, I don't think they're, they're dumb people. They've been through the jail system mm -hmm. before. So I think no matter what, they'll fight it. And we'll see what they could do because they do have shotting on video doing a robbery with a, with, a, with a weapon, so with a gun. So, you know, that's if it could, you know, allegedly. it's like you could it, allegedly. Um, yeah, so like it just can't get any worse for shoddy, you know what I mean? It, it, man, good luck, man, good luck for them dudes. Like, I wish them nothing but luck, right, right. man. It's just that it, 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 they're really trying to send a message. That you can't really do 100%. these things. You know, they're really trying to and make... That's, and that's always the case in New York, right? Whenever people try to get really crazy like that in New York, they always try to make an example out of them because New York is New York doesn't play with guns, man. Right. Straight from like, straight to their gun laws. If you're caught with an unregistered gun, that's three years off the bat. Now talk about brandishing that gun and, sh and like, shooting that gun. Are you crazy? Right. So, like, they always try to make an example out of people who do stuff like that. Like, when you're thinking about it, these people didn't really kill anybody. Yeah, let's. They're not charged. I don't believe they're charged with murder. Uh, with murder, correct me if I'm wrong. But at the same time, they're still facing life. Yeah, they are, man. It's federal, so it went federal. So they're just, you know, that's the you know, you, federal feds. They throw football numbers at you. Six nine will part, will testify against Kuda B and Shadi for that particular situation, as well as pro, as as well as for other crimes. But that will that will, I mean, I, it, it'll be interesting to see that go down. You know you don't what I mean? Think Kuda B and Shadi would be on the same side. What do you mean Kuda B on the Shadi on the same side? Of course. What do you mean? You, you said you said Kuda B is going to testify against Shadi. I'm saying no, no, no. I said six side. nine is most oh, likely. Okay. It'll be interesting to see that play out. He's going to if the he, you know if he takes a stand against that particular because he gave up Kuda B. He's right. he's saying that I pay this person along with Shadi. We pay this guy to. Uh, carry out that that shooting right allegedly allegedly um yeah, yeah so it, it, it's, it's ridiculous man like uh, i i don't think it's gonna look good it's messy man it's messy uh, yeah and like people still people think that it's possible that everyone is gonna take a video or some more people are gonna switch because as you keep hearing in the courtroom people keep saying like if this goes to trial if this goes to trial so there is a, a chance that it doesn't go to trial and this is all resolved before the trial date. So I think there's more things to be discovered before September. September is a long time from now. There's still hearings between now and then. Right, right. But as it stands, everyone pled not guilty in the courtroom that day, so. Right. Um, man, it's just that... It's almost like... Like, these are your homies and you're gonna have to, you know what I mean? Like, who to be just for banishing that weapon? He's gonna do some real yeah. time. I actually feel really bad for him. 
I mean, I don't like to put my personal feelings in there, right. but I feel really bad for him because it seems like he was just doing, like he was minding his own business and they were like, yo, do this and we'll give you this. And now, and now he's in some shit. But um, what do you think about the confidence of the lawyers? I mean, lawyers are always supposed to be confident. You can't go up there and say, uh, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> My guy's <it's>, fucked. <laughs> right. I mean, if you're going to, if you're looking at this amount of years and this, and look, there's 43 discs of evidence, which include PDF files, right. uh, images, yeah. and videos, you might as well go all out and try to fight it. I, I mean, I would do the same thing. Like, if you know what I mean? If I said, fuck it, I have these amount of charges, I have this amount left. Why not try it? And then I'm sure they can't even believe that's how many uh, years that they're, they're going to get because that's why they're probably laughing and, or, or they're trying to just make the most out of it and of their situation. I think, I, I think Mel's murder, uh, Mel murder, Mel's lawyer is the Mel, Mel's lawyer is the most confident. Mel, he, Mel's is, is uh, always, oh, it's also uh, Troy Avs. His uh, what's his name? Yeah, Scott Lehman. Yeah, he's the most confident. He's the loudest in the room always. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, he is. No, he's always like that. Oh, lawyers are supposed to, you know what I mean? They're they're supposed yeah. to to be that way, but and, I mean, you know. And the, and the lawyers are talking to the government too, but not on some cooperation stuff. Just like building the case, like they're in com in communication. It's not like they're building a case without speaking to the prosecutors. They're in communication. Let's get that squared out. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, one thing that I, I do. This is the last thing, and we'll end it. Mm -hmm. That I don't think they even reviewed, like the defendants haven't reviewed the the evidence that that, that the feds have against them, right? Um, I believe that they have. You no, remember they because a, they told them uh, they still trying to get headphones for them to look at the discs. Maybe maybe they haven't seen some of it, but uh, I know that they got up when uh, when Judge Engelmeyer told them to get up and said. You know, do you understand these uh, things that are put forth against you? Have you got it? Have you had a chance to look at the discovery? They, they all said, yeah. Mm, right, right. That's what that's what he asked them. That's what he asked them when they got up. Right, but they also said there was there were discs that they that some of them didn't see, or something like that. Maybe, maybe it's. That. I know they've at least seen some of it, and like they understand the the charges. Maybe. I think they understand the charges, but don't know the the maybe exact evidence. A, maybe, yeah, maybe for the audio or whatever, it's it's the problem. But right, right. I think I think when the judge asked him, he he was talking about the charges. Mm. Uh, but um, but the evidence itself, I think they still have to go through it, and that's something that the uh, in the last hearing that they were trying to do because of the government shutdown, and they still haven't done done that. Cause, and my only thing, my only question is, is that maybe my only thing is that maybe they'll. T to consider a plea deal, taking a plea deal after looking through that, those discs, you know what I mean? Not only that, but also after suppression hearings. So after the, the judge decides what is going to be admissible and not admissible. Mm, right, then right, right. I think, I think, I think after then we'll know who's the complete is or not. Because then all the evidence we know is going to be in court. We know all the evidence is going to be admissible and then we're going to know if the lawyers are like, you can't beat this, you know? Right, exactly. All right, man. Um, comment your thoughts. Follow Emizi on the track. His YouTube channel is dope. Yeah, yeah, man. Any final thoughts? This fucking track. Nah. Um. <laughs> good. Good luck, man. Good luck to the to the defendants. I mean, obviously, we don't. We're not trying to condone any, you know, wrong things, but. Right. It's still Trey shit at the end of the day, no matter what. Right. 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 <laughs> I still. But honestly, I do feel like. They're putting weight like the numbers that they're giving them is like crazy to me. Yeah. Like you're just ending somebody's life. Talking about life. Come on, man. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> like, come on. What are you gonna do? Man? This, this is how the law works, and they're trying to they're, send a they're, message. They're really trying to make it. They're, they're really trying to make an example out of it. Like, remember the first court hearing? They were really going for six nine, and they knew he wasn't like the like the the mastermind, but he was just the biggest name. He was a celebrity, and they're like, I yeah, think well, the other guys. Most of our evidence is against six nine. Right, right. I think the thing maybe is that they, just, they found the weakest link and they wanted him to play. Maybe that's maybe that's what it was. No, I think what it was is that the other guys had more more charges and were more involved, and he was just not heavenly involved as the, as the rest. You, you know what I mean? But they were going for him. They of course, they're gonna go for, for everybody. No, 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 no. They had an agenda. Like, don't you remember the first hearing? Like, I don't know. If, like, they had an agenda, bro. They said, yeah. The, it was like. 
seventy percent of this is like six nine social media, and maybe maybe that's just because six nine was doing dumb shit on social media. But okay. it just looked like they they were going after him because they knew that he would be the key to everything crumbling, because they themselves admitted that like, they've been investigating them for since twenty thirteen or something like that. But he came in the picture twenty seventeen, right? So it's like he can't be the freaking ringleader. He just got there, right? But his name his name was big enough. We're like, okay, this is going to give us the publicity that this needs. I think, I think you know? it gave, it gave him, it, it made it more hot, and especially him get, being getting robbed. It just, yeah. you know what I mean? It just, it just plays into it. Yeah. They, knew, they, they knew how to go about it. I, right. I'll give the first fact. They knew how to break down the organization. Like, this is what we're going to do step by step, and it freaking worked. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? All right, Trayway shit, bro. All right, peace.